A lot of rappers still, it seems like, want to be Tupac. They want to have his popularity. They want people to love them like they everyone loves him. But why do you think no one's succeeding? <laughs> well, because I, this is what they fail to realize about Tupac. In order for them to be Tupac, they would have to die before they peaked. Like, before they peaked, they would have to die. So, if you don't, like, you don't die, you, you can't do it. Bottom line. If you don't go die, you're not going to be the next Tupac. Because it ain't going to be the next Tupac. Straight up. We going to do what we came to do. Ain't that right, boo? Forget the telly, we just go to the crib. Forget the telly, we just go to the crib. We just go to the crib. Yo, YouTube, what up? This your homie Gab, I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. So the other day, right? Probably like a week and a half ago, I did a video about how Tupac had the most disrespectful line in hip-hop history. You know when he said, You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife? So I had a clip of that from Hit Him Up, right? So I say, claim to be a player. Let me find something with Biggie saying something about players. So I go to the Big Papa video, right? And you know the part when Biggie say, put your hands in the air if you're a real player, a true player, right? So I'm looking at the video. And you know the part when they say, ain't that right, boom, true. And the video vixen in the video, clear as day, had an Adam's apple. Now, the first video, I did about Choke No Joke, saying that he knew for a fact that the young lady in Biggie's Big Papa video was a male that was going by Shamika and, Sh and Shamika was no longer here. Some people actually got upset. And they said that was mean spirited, a choke, no joke. And even asked why, you know, I covered the video. Well, they said it was no proof of that. And, um, you know, that's just wrong and that's hateful and that's making fun of Biggie. So basically saying there was no, no validation to this claim. Well, finding that Adam's apple on the video Vixen, in my opinion, is very valid because nobody ever even said any of this stuff until Choke No Joke pointed it out. Never even crossed our mind that something was different about that young lady at the bar that Biggie and Buster Rhymes was interested in. There was another dude trying to holler at her too. She was the toast of the town, right? <laughs> the main attraction in the video. Um, it was episode of Martin. It was out in Hollywood. And I think it was either Cole was talking to somebody that Martin was saying wasn't what he thought it was. And he was like, yo, you got to check him from the neck up, bruh. Check up from the neck up. And I was looking for that to put in this video, but we ain't need all that. This ain't mean-spirited. This ain't no hate. This is just, yo, if you say something and people question what you say or try to disprove what you're talking about, it would be in your best interest to try to have as much proof as you can to validate your statement. You can see for yourself, when I slowed it down, you can see clear as day that yes, there is an Adam's apple. What does that mean? Scientifically, you know what it is. I know that 
all males, Adam's apple, aren't real pronounced. Some of them could be smaller, some of them could be larger, but there is an Adam's apple, right? I'm not sure if a woman could be born with an Adam's apple. If there are any science majors or scientists on here or people to know about the human anatomy that could correct me, feel free. But that is an Adam's apple. Now, this ain't saying that Biggie knew or he didn't know. Who cares? I don't know if Puffy knew. But apparently, they worked with this individual, Shamika, on several videos. Flavoring Your Ear, Remix, uh, The Warning Video, and Big Papa. I don't know if there were any more videos that I'm not familiar with, but if so, let me know in the comments section. But it's a serious matter when you look at the fact that Choke No Joke said that Shamika lost her life because she wasn't up front with an individual about who she was or maybe who she were. And um, once again, Choke No Joke, but this whole idea to the forefront by exposing who this individual was and started the conversation point. The bad boy know this about their lead video vixen. And once again, in my opinion, here's some video evidence that would support Choke No Joke's alleged claim that this video vixen was really and secretively born a man. Does it matter? That's up to y'all. But it is what it is. Tell me what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to turn on them post notifications so you'll be the first ones to get it when I drop that shit. Do me a favor. Do your homeboy a big favor right now. Look down and see if you gave the video a thumbs up. There's no reason why the video can get thousands of views and only have a couple hundred thumbs up. Don't cost you nothing to support the channel. Hit the thumbs up. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Because this is Machiavelli Media. I'm your homie Gab. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace.